I just want to read to you what's written in a parasha because almost every speaker makes the same mistake when he teaches this parasha. So when you hear in a shul somewhere, I don't know where, that the rabbi say it, you will know what I just told you now because that's the truth. Pay attention. Hashem, Hashem is very angry now on the people of Sodom. There are five very, very bad cities, Sodom and Gomorrah, and three more cities, similar to New York State, five boroughs. And they are very, very wicked. Sodom and Gomorrah are the worst, but the other three are also very bad. They made laws. Every one of their laws is against God. You're not allowed to have gifts. You're not allowed to help the poor. You're not allowed to be honest. Crazy rules. So, Hashem said, you know, it's time to give them what they deserve. Everyone in the end will get what he deserves. Sooner or later, all of us will get for good or for bad. Depend who we are. You'll be righteous, you'll get your good. You'll be wicked, Hashem irachem. So listen to this, Rabotai. Hashem he loves Abraham so much. He's the only righteous person in the world. There's no one else. Hashem doesn't have any faithful son besides him. And he said, I'm going to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah and burn all the wicked people. But how can I do it before I inform Abraham about my plan? I don't want it to catch him by surprise. I care about him. I don't want to do something, and then Avraham would say, wow, he didn't even tell me you're going to do it. So Hashem comes to Avraham, and he said to him, Za'akat Sdom Ve'amora Ki Raba. Sodom and Gomorrah, the screaming, are coming all the way up to me. Chatatam, Raba Chatatam, their sins are extremely high. He kavda meod and very heavy. So, vayigash Avraham and Avraham now decided that he has to be the lawyer. He has to act now as a defense lawyer. Who Avraham is trying to defend? Listen carefully. I will read it to you. Avraham odenu omed lifnei Hashem. ויגש אברהם ויאמר, אברהם say to Hashem, אהב תספה צדיק עם רשע? Dear God, are you planning to kill the righteous people together with the wicked people? You don't care who's righteous who's wicked? You're going to burn everyone in Sodom? אולי יש חמישים צדיקים בתוך העיר? Maybe there are 50 righteous people inside the city. Yes, there are millions of wicked ones. But maybe there are 50 righteous ones. You're going to kill the righteous together with the wicked? Why Abraham started with the number 50? Because there are five cities. And each city needs at least minyan of tzaddikim. At least 10. So that's why I say 50, meaning 10 in each place. Av tispeh velo tisa la makom leman chamishim tzaddikim asher bekirba. You're going to kill everyone knowing there are 50 righteous people there? You're not going to forgive the entire place for the tzaddikim? Chalila lecha me'asot kadavar azeh la'amit tzaddikim rasha. God forbid, God forbid that you're going, God forbid that you're going to kill the righteous together with the wicked. Vayaka tzaddika rasha. And there will be no difference between the righteous and the wicked. Chalila lecha. God forbid. Ashofet kol haaretz lo yaseh mishpat. The judge of the universe will not make a fair judgment. Now from what I read to you now. Who is Avraham trying to defend? Who Avraham care about? Does he care about all the people, include the wicked people, or is only worried that Hashem will kill the righteous together with the wicked? What do you see from here? The last thing he cares about is the wicked. Who Abraham is caring about? The only the righteous. 
Are you planning to kill the righteous with the wicked? If Abraham cared about all the wicked people, then his argument should have been, dear God, are you going to kill millions of people just because for the time being they are wicked? Why don't you give them an extension to live a little longer? I'll do my best to open up their eyes. Give me another 20, 30 years a chance to make things better. That should be the argument. But that's not what he says. You want to kill the wicked? Be my guest. They don't deserve to live. They go against you every second. They take everything you give them and they use it against you. You give them oxygen, they use it against you. You give them homes, they use it against you. You give them wife and children, they turn them against you. Everything you give them, you give them brain, they use it against you. You give them mouth, they eat things you told them not to eat. They speak things you told them not to speak. You give them eyes, they look at things they're not allowed to look. Basically, totally ungrateful. So Abraham said, Rabotai, listen carefully. It says, God forbid the judge of the universe will not make a fair trial. And Hashem answered. Vayomer Hashem, im em tsa besdom, chamishim tzadikim betoch ha'ir, venasati lekol ha'makom ba'avuram. If I will find in Sodom, meaning in the whole five borers over there, 50 righteous people, I will forgive the entire place for them. From here, what do we learn? That the wicked people are alive thanks to whom? Only thanks to the righteous. If there would not be righteous people in the Jewish nation, not one Jew would stay alive. The only reason that the Mechalalei Shabbat and the people that hate the religion and the people that steal and the people that speak Lashon Hara and the people that commit Giluya Rayot every day and all the gays and all the gay parades and all these kind of people, the only reason that they are still alive for the time being is only thanks to the Bachurei Shivot and thanks to the Tzadikim who gives their life for the Torah. And what is the thank you that they give to the Jews that thanks to them they are alive? A spit in the face, calling them names, parasites. Go back to Auschwitz. We don't need you here. What are you doing here? Join the army. We don't need you over here. That's all they hear, nonstop.